What's going on out there? Monkey back again, doing another review on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So, there's plenty of reviews out there, so I'm not going to go into the whole specifics of what um, this phone is all about. I'm just going to give you, this is the Korean version, uh, as you can see, U+. And um, the dimensions really quickly, uh, it's 136 by 6, uh, 69.8 and 7.9 millimeters across and it weighs 130 grams this one as I said is the Korean version uh, for a carrier LG U plus uh, so this is as LTE also has the Exynos uh, 5 octa core processor inside which is actually four quad cores uh, coupled together uh, one is an arm Cortex A15 clocked in 1.6 gigahertz uh, the smaller one is an ARM Cortex A7, which is clocked in at 1.2 uh, gigahertz. Um, in Korea, they don't sell actually the 16 gigabyte one. They only sell the uh, 32 gigabytes. And I haven't seen the 64, but um, I don't think that's available. So this is uh, 32 gigabytes um, one here. And as you can see, this is the black one, the black mist, whatever Samsung wants to call. Uh, and so forth like that. So uh, I've had this phone for maybe about two weeks now uh, and it's an awesome phone, very cool, very slim, very light, uh, very powerful and also I wanted to show you guys uh, the Korean version. I don't know, I've I seen the reviews about the American version ones and they don't get the charging port. This is the charging port here, uh, very cool and also we get an extra battery with a little plastic case Reminiscent of the old Game Boy games. Oh, yeah. So, just wanted to show you guys that uh, if you guys thinking about it. And, of course, this is, has LTE in it, as you can see in the back, LTE and so forth. So, very cool. Oh, by the way, as you guys can see, I'm using my Garfield books and my old cell phone cases to stabilize um, my uh, camera. Because I'm actually using my LG Optimus G Pro as a... A camera to record this so anyways so if you guys see this I'm sorry you know I still didn't buy a camera I'm not really a camera guy uh, anyways so let's jump into this thing uh, this is running uh, Android 4.2.2 uh, uh, the latest Android so far uh, so as you can see it's got the jelly bean home screen and stuff like that very cool uh, so let's jump into this bad boy so, um, so I've been using it this is an awesome phone I'm not going to get into all the different, um, you know, settings and stuff like that, because I'm sure you guys, you know, see, I will tell you which ones I do find, you know, like, as you can see, I shut off all the smart, you know, smart scroll, smart stay, all that stuff, but the air view is kind of cool, I like the air view one, uh, which is really cool, that's probably the only one I really like, and I keep on, uh, and I'll tell you for some of the reasons why I like it, it's because, uh, actually, the music player, was with the music player I really like it because for instance if you just hold it here it actually tells you the the next track you're going to be playing see which is cool when you have it on shuffle and you're wondering what the next song is so that's pretty cool and like I said um, it also works for the built-in browser you know where you can kind of what the hell you can kind of actually look into something and it'll pop up and stuff like that. And also the email and all that good stuff like that. So uh, that's the only one I use probably about uh, everything else. Uh, I turn off multi-window. Uh, I keep that on, but honestly, I don't really use it that much because um, it's still a pain in the ass. It's half the screen or something like that. Uh, I have a Galaxy Note 8.0 also. And um, even I don't really even use it on that. So. Uh, but I'm, I keep it on just in case because it's kind of cool to have the little pop-up thing going on. Um, as you know, many, many settings. If you double tap, it's many, many settings. But most of the stuff I keep off because I like my phone to work fast. Uh, touch Wiz on this is actually not that bad. It's pretty smooth and um, good animations, you know. And this thing runs flawlessly, you know. Things runs really fast. Uh, like I said, I, um, I had a chance to play with the... Um, Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, chipset on the Optimus G Pro, um, and you know that's an awesome chipset too. But this thing is awesome too. So um, 
I'd say, I would say everyday use. Uh, I could definitely see speed improvement. Um, also, games and stuff like that um, run really well and um, just seems a little more smoother than uh, the Qualcomm chipset. I don't know. Um, for some reason like that. Oh, it also has uh, two gigabits of RAM and so forth like that. I also bought the Smart Cover Stay and uh, the, the official Samsung Smart Cover Stay, but I really hate the thing so it's kind of cool you know but you know nothing really that great or anything like that um all right so let's get into it so we're gonna run a couple of benchmarks uh, not crazy benchmarks because i'm pretty sure you see them all uh, let's jump into n22 first i already ran uh, the benchmarks on n22 as you can see 27373 uh, but we'll test again just for you guys to see uh like i said before in all my other videos don't put too much stock into um don't put too much stock into the the test is fun and stuff like that but you know it fluctuates a lot depending on you know how hot your, your mobile phone is and so forth like that so but it's cool to see and uh, i guess it's a nice little way to kind of judge what's going on with your phone and stuff like that but like i said don't put too much stock into it um sorry again i haven't made videos in a while been a little bit busy and trying to save my money and not spending it all on phones um, I will have another video coming out for the Optimus G Pro and also the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. So, um, you know, check it out there. And maybe I'll do a comparison video between uh, the Galaxy S4 and the Optimus G Pro. Um, I've been using this phone, like I said, for a couple of weeks. And it's awesome phone. The battery is fantastic on it. Um, you know, I use the phone a lot to check, you know, emails and uh, play games and web surf, you know, all through the day. Um, and I always keep the phone on. And when I come home, most of the time, you know, it has about like 20, you know, 20 percent, 30 percent battery life. And that's being unplugged all charge. I carry a spare battery, but there's not there hasn't been a time where I actually needed to trade in the spare battery. My work day, you know, really is you know, very lenient and I have a lot of break time. So I have a lot of time to like play games and uh, web surf and all that stuff. And this phone, you know, just, you know, handles like a base, you know, I come home and, you know, there's enough battery and I never really have to worry about the battery. And like I said, Samsung is kind enough to, you know, give you another battery and also a nice little protective case to protect your battery from. So if you do run out, uh, stuff like that. A lot of people have been talking about the build quality of uh, Samsung phone with the plastic back and so forth like that. Uh, honestly, you know, I use it all the time and um, I have a case on it, uh, which is a Spigen case. But, um, you know, like, it's not really a big deal for me. You know, I, I know the HTC One has, you know, a full body aluminum casing and, you know, uh, iPhone, of course, with the glass back and all that stuff. And, but, you know, I'd rather have the micro SD card slot and removable battery, to be honest with you. And plus, you know, it doesn't look that bad. You know, the back of the phone is, you know, a little bit shiny and stuff like that. But it looks good and it fits in really well into it. And I'm not going to lie, the the little metal fake, you know, bezel kind of looks like an iPhone-ish style like that. So, uh, uh, so thing is just finished so as you can see it scored a 24 3 4 8 a lot lower than what it scored before um, so no biggie and so forth like that uh, let's jump into where's quadrant let's jump in the quadrant standard and let's run this bad boy here. We'll run the full benchmark I ran it before um, I forgot what it ran it's like 17 or something like that I want to thank everybody. Take the time right now to uh, for subscribing to my vid uh, channel and also for all the people watching my videos and sending me comments, which are mostly positive. You know, I got some assholes telling me like, oh, you know, you're not professional. You shake too much. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have the money to, you know, buy professional cameras and stands like that. You know, I'm spending all my money on phones and shit like that. So, um, you know, please excuse my horrible uh, cinemat. Uh, cinematic you know uh skills and so forth um i chose the black one just because i like the black and oh, it's finished so no story for you guys there you go uh so you can see it scored a 12 559 which is really really high um 
you know. So, like I said before, um, oh, there's another thing I wanted to say about this phone. Uh, I heard something about uh, the U.S. Ver uh, variant of the phone was getting um, uh, Andrino GPU. Actually, let me look it up real quick. Mm. Yeah, uh, Qualcomm Andrino 320. And this one actually has like the VR, you know, X, SGX 544MP3 or whatever it is. And supposedly it's uh, uh, supposed to be, it's clocked higher and it's better. Um, like I said before, I have a um, uh, Optimus G Pro also. And I play the same games on each phone, and it just seems uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 just runs a little bit smoother. So uh, I don't know if that's the processor, or if that's the um, the GPU, or the uh, you know the difference or something like that. But like I said, there's no lag. It's awesome phone. Love it. Battery's great, um, and that's about it. Uh, I didn't really go into too much detail about this phone because obviously there's like a bazillion, bazillion um, videos and articles you can read about all the different uh, options, smart stay, smart scroll, all that stuff. And I'll just be honest with you, you know, I shut all of them off. I tried them all, you know, and some of them, you know, just like hit or miss, you know, depends. On, and plus the smart stay and all smart scroll with the eye tracking and all that. You really have to have really great lighting and, you know, look really, you know, right at the phone and it's got to catch your eye and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, not worth, um, not worth the time. I just shut it off. Like I said, the only one I use is the AirView one, which is really cool, especially like if you're going into Flipboard or something like that. Like I said, I'll show you. This is the one that actually I use. See, I really like that. And it's, you know, you get used to it and it works pretty well. And you can also do that for emails, and like I said, you can do that for songs also, uh, if they have like a long title of the song and stuff like that. So that's the only one I use and I keep on. Uh, everything else I shut off, like air, gest uh, air gesture, uh, that's retarded. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sitting there waving at my phone and shit, like, you know, I'm saying goodbye and hello to it. Uh, same thing with the smart scroll, you know. I tried it, and honestly, it didn't, you know, it worked like half the time, and depending on the lighting... And honestly, it's just a little bit weird, you know, tilting my head up and down or tilting the phone up and down and stuff like that. So, um, so overall, great phone, uh, probably the best phone I've ever had. And, I've, you know, I've had my share of phones. Um, the screen is awesome. And it's just, oh, damn, I forgot, totally forgot to tell you. Of course, it's, everybody knows it's the uh, Super AMOLED screen um, with the you know, 4.99 inches across, we might as well say 5, uh, has 441 PPI, even though it's a um, pentile screen, you know, like I said, you can't, you can't tell, it's just, you know, it's not even worth mentioning anything like that. So, I um, hope you guys like my quick review of the Samsung Galaxy S4, um, if you have a chance and you're in Korea, get it, it's the best of both worlds, 32 gigabytes. Um, LTE, you know, the Exynos quad core, um, extra battery that they give you, also the charger. So, uh, good to be Korean and good to be in Korea and stuff like that. So, um, thanks again for watching. Peace. And let me know if you have any questions about this phone or if you want me to do another video or something like that. I'll try to uh, be a little bit more consistent. So, um, monkey rating, my new monkey rating. I'm going to have to give the Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, out of a 10, possible 10 bananas. I'm going to give it maybe a nine and a half bananas. Um, it's an awesome phone. It's one of the best phones I've ever had. And, you know, there's really nothing I can say that hasn't been said a bazillion times, a different thing. Um, the material they used, you know, I'm, I'm not against it. You know, I think it's fine, but uh, I would like to see them step it up a little bit, you know, maybe... Uh, use the back a little bit uh, thicker, like the Optimus G Pro uh, phone and stuff like that. So, but other than that, you know, awesome phone. Everything works great, and that's about it. So, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on, and peace out, yo.